known for Mac Shade Tech, homie Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also a DubSpot instructor. In this video, we're gonna be looking at creating some rave stabs. We're gonna do that using Logic's built-in ES2 synthesizer. And we hear these sounds in a lot of different styles of music. I've created a sort of ravey hip hop track here, which I'll play for you guys. And then we'll get into the tutorial. So there you go. And so what we're gonna look at is how to create this sound here that I've labeled Rave. And we got a couple other sounds in here. There's a uh, 808 style boom that I created. I did a video on that. You can check that out on the DubSpot channel. And actually a lot of the drum programming techniques that I'm using here, you can learn about in my drum programming video as well. One of the things that's kind of interesting about this one is I'm shifting from a kind of a eighth note time to a, a triplet time or 12th note time. And that's kind of what's making this pattern interesting. You notice if we look at it on the 16th note grid, we can see it's not actually on a 16th note. It is on a, if we change the grid here, we can see that it is on a 12th note or a, or a triplet grid. And that's kind of part of what's given this track the kind of interesting feel and energy. This is the pattern for the sound that we're gonna look at. So let's take a look at the synthesizer. So basically, I'll just recreate this for you from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a new software instrument track. I'll just grab this pattern here, pull it down, and we'll solo it. And then we're gonna load up the ES2 synthesizer. And we're gonna go up here and we're gonna choose from the tutorial settings analog saw unison. What this is gonna give us is a couple of detuned oscillators together, which sound like this. Which you can hear is actually getting somewhat close to the sound, right? So I didn't actually do too much to this to make it the way it was. But basically what we've got is we wanna add some pitch movement to the sound. That wheeer, that kind of sound is kind of what makes it kind of dark and ravey and also where a lot of the energy is in the sound. And so that is, we're using the modulation router down here to add some pitch movement. So what I'm gonna do is actually, the pitch is already targeted here using LFO one and the mod wheel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna say, let's use envelope one. and let's take the mod wheel out and set the mod wheel here to off. So now we've got the target is pitch one, two, and three, and the source is envelope one. Envelope one is over here. And then we're gonna take the amount slider here and turn it all the way up. And now, what we can hear, I'll just turn this down a little bit as well. We can hear we're getting some, some nice pitch dive. It's the pitch is diving down, but that's actually the opposite of what we want, at least for part of this sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the decay and push it up, slow it down. And then, maybe a little less. And then I'm gonna push the attack up here. Now the attack is the beginning of the sound. So after I, right after I push the key, the attack phase begins. And what we're gonna do by making it slower is it's gonna cause the pitch to rise because it's assigned to pitch one, two, and three. So we're gonna get this. And this is kind of the basic idea of what we're doing. Now I'm gonna take this and let's just, we'll turn the octave down on the keyboard. That sounds about right. 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the release down over here. I'm gonna turn it down pretty low. And now we've got the basic sound. And this is, I was kind of on my MIDI controller. Right, so I'm just playing short notes and then followed by a long one, which is once the attack is over, the decay begins, and that's the part of the envelope that's going downward, and we're using that to create the dive. And so the other kind of fun part about this, and this I'm going to need to do using my, uh, I've got a MIDI controller hooked up here. You could do it with the caps lock keyboard, but the caps lock keyboard is not velocity sensitive, and I'm going to use some velocity sensitivity here. So you'll notice that we've got this little bracket here on the attack. So if we pull this down, what this will do is create a range of attack values based on the velocity of the note that we play. So if we hit the pad, I'm using an MPD 24. If we hit the pad hard, it's going to be fast. And if we hit it gently, it's going to be... We're going to get either the fast attack where it's going to go quickly to the decay phase and dive or the slow attack where we're going to get more. And so what I was doing was just kind of playing along with this. And you can hear just kind of by the natural difference in my playing. We've got that interesting variation in there. So I just recorded that in and I actually cut out my favorite little piece here. I just took this little, you know, four beats here and repeated that, or two beats actually, and repeated that, and so then ended up with this. And then I added the rest of my stuff. So this is a way that we can create those kind of very bright, buzzy kind of sounds with a lot of energy that can kind of liven up our tracks. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you'd like to learn more about DubSpot, you can check us out at dubspot.com. We offer classes both online and at our school in Manhattan in New York City. And if you'd like to learn more about me, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com and I'm also on SoundCloud. Thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.